We want to take you back out to breaking news in Northeast Baltimore. Annie Rose Ramos on the scene of a multi alarm fire along Virginia Ave. Annie Rose, what are you learning? Rachel, this is what we know. We've spoken to people who live in this area. They say at around 10 o'clock they heard a massive boom. Their walls shook, their furniture shook. Many people who live up on the surrounding streets ran towards this direction. My photographer, Nate, is going to zoom into where that boom was coming from. They ran towards that direction. And I can tell you when they were running here, they say they saw smoke billowing out into the streets. They could barely see right in front of them. And that is when they heard a second boom, just as loud as the first. Police and emergency responders, first responders, say that they moved everybody who was running in this direction away. They said it wasn't a safe area at the moment. And so they moved police. Police had everybody move back who was coming to kind of see where that noise was coming from. I can tell you the people who live on this block, when that, that massive boom took place, they ran this way. Many say they heard people screaming in pain from the burning on their arms. They saw people burn on their legs, on their arms, and multiple areas of their body. And that's when many people who live on that block where the explosion took place ran this way. They ran to the porches of people who live in this area. As you can see, Rachel, it's raining. This is just a horrible night to have this happen. I mean, any night is horrible, but it's raining, it's dark, it's cold. And so many people who live in that block ran to this porch and to a lot of these porches out of the rain for a little bit of shelter. People were giving out blankets, sweaters, socks. And this is where a lot of the ambulances picked up people. I can tell you right now, the fire department says three adults and two children were rushed to the hospital. They are currently in critical condition. Now, these blasts came from the 2800 block of Virginia Avenue. We do not know at this moment, Rachel, what caused them, what caused these explosions. I can tell you, Rachel, we did see BG&E personnel here on the scene, along with firefighters, police, paramedics. It is a massive, massive response. We have seen eyewitnesses who have filmed down closer to the to the scene who say that they've seen as many as five or six buildings that have been damaged. But Rachel, we will bring you much more reporting live from Northwest Baltimore. I'm Amy Ramos for WJZ.